two of the top five in Glory's World Light Heavyweight Rankings square off next in about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner. He won decision victories in his first two Glory starts. His record stands at 24 wins with nine losses, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.92 meters, and he weighed in at 209.4 pounds and even 95 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Suriname and ranked number five in the Glory World Rankings, introducing Donaghy Abena. Now here is his opponent, standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner. A Pan Am and world champion as an amateur, and a Brazilian heavyweight champion. His professional record, 16 wins with nine losses. Five of those career wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.93 meters, he too weighed in at fight time at 209.4 pounds and even 95 kilograms. He's here tonight in Arnhem, all the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and rank number three in the Glory World Rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Felipe the White Tiger Micheletti. The referee in charge of this bout is Yusuf Aknik. White corner. Okay, fighters, you know the rules. I want to clear in a fair fight. Obey my commands for all time and protect yourself for all time, okay? Touch gloves, if you want. Take a step back. Donaghy Abena versus Felipe Micheletti. Suriname versus Brazil. Time. Fight. Here we go. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. The Brazilian in the white gloves. Abena in the black. Looking forward to see the work that Abena has been doing. He's been working with SB Jim, with Coach Saeed, which is, we know, with Badr Hari. Oscar Glyons with there, Melvin Manhoff. Micheletti said his last fight, he took on three days notice, or 13 days notice rather. He says, this time I'm fully ready, fully prepared. I have no excuses, I will beat Abena. Micheletti's using the front kick very well, trying to keep Abena away. Abena slowly stalking. Slowly closing that distance to get good punches like that on the inside. Baina saying he has to pace himself. Been going too hard for the knockout. I've got to be more patient. Got to take my time. But Joe, you only got nine minutes. It's kickboxing. Yeah. I like a Baina mixing in the body, oh, the nice. knees, and those short punches right on the jaw. Yeah, a lot of people knee and they don't punch after. So mixing the. The punches after the knees scores really well. But that body work from Abain is definitely an improvement. Micheletti trying to work off the jab, the one-two there. Yeah, now I like that he's using the fainting. I think Micheletti fainting is a big key to kind of see what Abena's hands are doing. There's an excellent low kick from Abena. Micheletti looks like a boxer, doesn't he? Just the way he stands in there. Big, strong, powerful. Minutes to go here in the first. Abena taking Ooh. his time. But you don't want to give away the round. It's very good pressure fighting from Abena. He's not crashing in, but you notice when Micheletti goes left, he tracks him nicely. That's good ring control from Abena. Yeah, he's had Micheletti on that back foot. Yeah, he cuts the ring off well. He's making Micheletti fight off the back foot. And then he counters off like that. Good body kick there from Micheletti, though. Break, step back. 
Uh, Micheletti's got some powerful kicks. If he can get them off on the outside, he can do a lot of good damage. Ooh, oh God. Left hand on the inside from Abena. That'll wake you up some of those. It's those close range shots, Joe, that have been the difference. Yep. Once he gets inside there, these little short chopping hooks. So. Boy, Abena's doing everything slow, yeah. including walking back to his corner. I'm going to conserve every ounce of energy possible. Well, that is the White Lion who told us yesterday he got that nickname because of his eyes and the color of his skin. The White Tiger, not the Lion. Oh, White Tiger. White Lion was a great 80s hair band, by the way. Okay. The song was Wait, I believe it was. His signature strike is the sidekick, which you don't see a lot in kickboxing. Nope, he's doing more front kicks today. His opponent, Donaghy Abena, representing Suriname. Very proud to be from there. Key wins, Tavares, Duth, Stoika, very big names. So today, my most impressive thing to see from Abena is that he's mixing the body and his lateral tracking. So Coach Saeed's been doing a good job with him. But this is that inside work from Abena. Either he's controlling the knees, throwing the punches off of it, calculating his way in. Seems like Micheletti wants to keep him away where Abena's main strategy is inside. Yeah, Micheletti's thinking, hey, we're going to just tie up and have the referee Fight. pull us apart, but Abena is working. One of my things I always say, fight out of the clinch. Don't always sit there. So a good opening round for Donaghy Abena. Let's see how the judges had it here in a minute. It's our open scoring. Ooh, Ooh Micheletti with a knee. And now they're really letting their hands fly. Abena sends him to the canvas. No, even though the gloves touch, the referee, referee says continue. Now that looked like a more of a slick push to me. Good exchange for both fighters, but Abena is now picking up the pace. Ooh, nice low kick for Micheletti. I would say to slow the hands down, the low kick's there for him. Side of Beta has the advantage. Yeah, the way he Great. knees and then pushes you off and then whips his hands. It's very nice. I'm gonna say someone who does that really well is Alistair Overeem. That's how he finished Botter in his debut in uh, the K1 fight. It was a knee to a nice hook. So Overeem style being used here. And left hand from Abena moves Micheletti back. There's now two nice calf kicks there from Micheletti. I like that. Ooh, nice third one there. He's going just below the knee. Oh, left hand from Abena. Right as Micheletti pulled his hands down. And fatigue appears to be setting in for the Brazilian. Yeah, that's what actually Abena said in our, in our meetings here. He says he will gas out. Yes, nice. Finish with the low kick from Abena. Ooh, body head. And then a head kick from Abena. Mitch Lenny's got to get busy. Yep, that's level changing. He's mixing that jab to the body, trying to set things up. Maybe Micheletti should try to time a right hand versus that jab to the body, because Abena's starting with it every time, so. Dana likes to start with the jab to the body, so a nice right hand for Micheletti could do well. Just over 30 seconds to go in this second round. Another good low kick from Micheletti. Yeah, that's what we call the Rico Verhoeven, trying to attack the inside of the back leg. And on the inside again, Abena scores with a hook. Yeah, Micheletti with a nice combination back, though. Back. Heavy breathing now from Micheletti. He's had a better second half of the second round. Yeah. Landed a nice front kick. Now uppercut hook. Hey, Boom. these guys are really throwing bombs in there. Good knee from Abena at the bell. GloryShop.com is your destination for all the latest Glory merchandise, including signed event posters and athlete collabs, including the new Goliath t-shirt, available now.
You don't say collaborations anymore. You just say collab. Collab. Yeah. Way, way cool. The young kids are saying. Yep. Yeah. There we see. Abena really coming forward, pressuring that nasty right hand that he has. And just from the clinch, see how he fights out of the clinch, Micheletti's trying to grab, but boom, throws a nice power punches off of it. His left hook is very good, he's got a good overhand right. And the way he knees and then kind of oh. fixes his head kick. That was a beautiful exchange at the end of that second round. Yeah, keep in mind, Micheletti's six foot four inches tall, and Donnie Abena got his leg up for the head kick from about a foot away from it. Yeah, close range. That is, people don't expect it, right? That is some flexibility. Fight! All right, round three of three. It's been a close fight. Abena seems to have done better, though. Micheletti needs this third. Yeah, Micheletti's got to push it here. Watch out, hold for that. At the end there, he found some good energy with uppercuts, so, so you see him start already. Right uppercut, left hook, low kick for Micheletti. But Abena's counters. Been told that Abena has won the first two rounds, 10-9, all five judges. So Micheletti's gonna need a knockdown. Left hand from Micheletti, and a right as well. Those legs are just so big and powerful when they land. <laughs> Taking deep to the body. Ooh. Nice power exchanging. He's keeping Abena away for now. Ooh. Abena, right now, is getting outworked, but he's still methodically coming forward. Yep. Was, Abena said that Micheletti's going to gas. And this is when Abena does the best, when he gets inside and can throw those hooks. I also think Abena does well when he loosens up, too. Once he gets relaxed and he can flow with his punches, that's when he does his best work. Sometimes fighters try to go for the knockout too much that they gas themselves, but when you touch, mix the body, light shots, set up power shots. Break! Step back, step it up. Step back, step back, step back. Well, Abena said, look, I've gotten been on the wrong end of some decisions. I'm gonna give the judges what they wanna see. Is this what they wanna see? Well, yeah, they wanna look for output, damage. He's landing low, looks like he rocked him there. He's coming forward. Doing what he has to do. But I think he was talking about knockouts. He wants those. But when you fight all the highest level in the division, it gets harder. Need in the body, 30 seconds left. Again, Micheletti needs a knockdown here. I don't think he has the, oh! I was gonna say he doesn't have the power, but then he whipped that nice question mark style kick. Well, he does have five knockouts in his 16 victories. Digging deep, but Abena just too good tonight. Ooh. Break, break, break. Break. And that is it as Micheletti crashes to the canvas. Exhausted, gave it everything he had, but Joe, it just didn't seem to be enough. No, I mean, Abena just kept coming forward. I think it was his pressure, calculated pressure, I'm gonna call it. He set it up nicely, kept him against the ropes and just found the right moments to throw. The decision when we return. Welcome you back to the Helder Dome, our highlights from our second fight of the night. Yeah, Micheletti started pretty good using his front kicks, power on the outside, but the story of this fight is really a bane of pressuring. Losing his kind of lateral tracking, keeping Micheletti against the ropes and throwing some good combinations. He's mixed in his boxing really well, good kicks, some good knees down the middle as well, really mixed his style. He really wanted to show his improvements, and I think we saw it. He mixed the body really well, wanted to control his pace, and those close-range head kicks, very impressive for a light heavyweight. Let's take a look at some post-fight statistics. Look at the punches, 106 of 196 from Abena. That's about 70 more than Micheletti. Let's go into the ring and make it official, Tim Hughes.
Ladies and gentlemen, this mount goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. They do give us back a unanimous decision. All five of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same. 30-27 for your winner, Donaghy Abena! I'm here with your winner, Donaghy Abena. <laughs> wow, wow. First of all, I want to thank everybody who sat down with me for the last couple of years. My fans, my family, my friends, I got you. Bogus, I see you. Wow, and this fight, it's not for me, not for the fans around here, but for my mans who died. RP, my cousin, Zalig Day, and RP, K1 legend, Lloyd Van Dams, the tornado. The fight was for them. They supported me from the start. And <laughs> champions, you're fighting later today. I see you. I see you. Be happy with the belt for the two, three months that you got them. I'm a problem and I'm coming. Modern Nation, stand up. All right, he said it all. Let's hear it for your winner, Donaghy Abena. Leaving no doubt, he wants some gold around his waist.